Hi everyone, my name is Poon Suk. I'm a product manager here at Origin, and I'm really excited to give you an overview of our latest feature, forecasting. So previously, Origin helped you know where you've been through features like spend or portfolio tracking. But with the introduction of forecasting, we can now help you imagine where you could go. Let's jump in. You'll find forecasting by navigating to the advice tab. And then if you scroll down, you'll find the entry point here to start your very first forecast. You can also find it by navigating to the actual forecast tab on the same advice page. But let's get a quick overview of forecasting. So what can you do with it? There's three main pieces. First is that you'll be able to forecast your future network. Next is you'll be able to forecast your cash flow. And then lastly, based off of the plan you've created, you can kind of pressure test it by running a Monte Carlo simulation to predict your chances of success to achieve that plan. All right, let's start our first forecast. The onboard experience is meant to replicate what would be like if you actually had a conversation with a financial planner. This tool was built by our expert CFPs and uses some of their best practices that they would use in a real type of conversation. If you wanted to find out more about our full methodology, we have a eight page blog on every single attribute and every single best practice that's baked into this tool. So you can trust this is an accurate depiction of a potential future. So the first step is tell us about yourself. This information is actually pre-populated from your profile. If you haven't filled it out, no worries. You can do it right here. If you want to forecast with your partner included, you're going to toggle this on and double check their information. And then from here on out, the onboarding experience would be a household forecast. Let's continue forecasting as an individual. Then you're going to review your accounts. And then you can add more accounts if you'd like. Otherwise, we click continue. The next step is reviewing your income. Again, this comes from your profile. However, you can update it if you'd like. In addition, you can also simulate if your income was increasing over time, which is generally typical based off of promotions or job changes. So I'll say increases 3% annually. And lastly, if you have any side hustles, you can add that as additional income on the side. But for now, I don't have any. And then we'll click continue. Next is reviewing your expenses. Now, what we do is we take a snapshot of the last 12 months to give you an average of what your average expenses would be per month. How you can think about this though, is that this is just the baseline of your current lifestyle. And we're gonna use that baseline as a future projection over time. You'll be able to add more expenses later as events, but we need some type of monthly average so that we can forecast your future. Network. And so in this case, I can edit as I'd like as well. So I will just reduce it by 2000 because I know I've been spending a little bit more this year and click continue. Next is reviewing your liabilities. Liabilities are important so that we can understand how much debt you have and be able to forecast paying that down over time. If you have any liabilities that require more information for us to accurately forecast it, you'll see it in the additional information is needed section and be able to fill out the missing piece of information. All other liabilities will appear in your liabilities completed section and you'll be able to continue. Next is adding one of the biggest milestones of them all, retirement. How you can think about this tool is how would you like your lifestyle in retirement to be as a function of how much you would be spending per month your expenses per month in retirement. If you need any help, we provide information about how you can compare that to your current living expenses. Generally, CFPs recommend at least 80% of your current living expenses as an approximation of what your retirement lifestyle would be. And that's why it's highly recommended here. Next, you'll choose your retirement age. It's defaulted to 67 to get full social security benefits, but you could change this if you'd like. And then we'll click next. And the last step is end of life planning. Really hard to talk about, but one of the most important things. The average life expectancy for men in the US is 74, for women is 80. However, we actually recommend that you forecast with a 10 year buffer. Assuming that people are living longer, healthier lives, it's better to be over forecasted than under forecasted and run out of money. So that's why it's defaulted to 90. Next, if you'd like to leave a legacy, you can toggle this on and add your target net worth at the end of your life. This represents what you potentially want to leave behind for your kids or a nonprofit. However, it's totally okay and normal to just leave it set as default zero, which is toggled off, which means that you'll have enough money to cover your expenses and not hit zero during your retirement towards the end of your life. And then we click continue. 
and boom, your forecast is ready. You have two options here. You can view your forecast instantly, or you can add additional life events, but that'll take a bit more time. We actually recommend you view your forecast now so you can see the foundations. Then as you add the singular events one by one, you can see how those actually impact your forecast. So let's do just that. And now the forecast is being created. We're crunching the numbers and boom, you're dropped into your very first forecast. Next, I'm going to go over all the tools and components at your disposal so that you can play and manipulate your forecast and really explore the what if possibilities. The very first piece is the fact that we created your very first scenario called scenario one. It's set as default and will appear on your advice tab if you ever left. You can edit this scenario and give it a new title. You could also change the scenario type, individual or joint. Joint meaning you would like to change this to forecasting with your partner if you have one added to your profile. Next, you can also create a new scenario. You can create new scenarios two ways. First, by duplicating existing scenarios, or you can start from scratch. Next are your four primary controls. The first, which is probably the most important, are events. Here's a list of events that you're able to add. And if you don't find anything immediately here on this list, you could always add a custom event. Next is your financial data that you previously filled out during onboarding, your annual income, expenses, liabilities. And we've defaulted your portfolio growth to 7%, but all of this is editable. Next is a recap of your about you. Once again, pulled from your profile and updated during onboarding. And then lastly are any assumptions we made. Inflation rate set to 3%, which is the actual average per year, and it's adjusted to days dollars. Now let's go over the chart. The blue line represents your current and future trajectory. Items here represent events. As an example, we've already added a retirement event. Additional info icons may appear on your chart to notate things that are happening in the background. And then below, there's a table if you would like to track how things are changing year by year between different categories, whether it's your cash, investments, or potentially your liabilities that you've added. Now, let's try adding an event. So if I click buy a home, for example, I can give this home a title. I could give this home a price. And in our tool, we try to default to as many things that we know are common as possible. For example, homes are generally on 20% down payments, 30 year mortgage loan terms, and the interest rate as of April, 2025 is 6.5 in the US on average. If you click save, you can see that this new home event has been created. You can see that two unsaved changes have been added, and you can see how the gray line has also upgraded. In this case, I'm also just gonna save this scenario. And now that becomes my new default scenario, the gray line disappears, and now I have my forecast. Next, let's try editing a few things. What if I wanted to change my expenses? You come here and just reduce that to whatever amount you'd like. If you'd like to resync this data back up to what we had as a snapshot of your 12 months, like this, you can. And now, however your expenses update, over time, it'll always be linked. But if you want to add a custom amount, you can here. Now let's explore the cash flow tab. The cash flow tab takes in the exact same information based off of your controls above and gives you a projection about what your future cash flow would look like. This number here is the average cash flow you have annually before retirement, aka pre retirement. This number is generally negative. It makes sense because you stop working, your cash flow is negative, but it's a good indicator to determine whether or not you'll have saved enough assets across your entire portfolio in order to cover the amount of expenses you're having during retirement. And similarly, there's a table below where you can go and investigate things you're interested in year by year. Next, let's check out the chance of success tab. So the tool runs thousands of simulations to predict your chances of success based off of your events and all the inputs you entered. What does that mean? It means that I have a 100% chance, given all my goals of buying a home, having a kid and retiring, that I will not have to go back to work because I will have 
my net worth at the end of my life will be above zero, meaning I had enough money to cover my expenses during retirement and towards the end of my life. If I wanted to update this net worth target, all I'll do is go to about you, change your net worth target. Maybe I'd like to end up with $4 million at the end of my life. If I click save, Monte Carlo simulation will update. And as you can see, that's far less likely in this example. And that's the forecasting tool. Now, based off of the events you enter, your financial data, a little bit about you, you can forecast your future net worth, your future cash flow, and run simulations to see the chances you have to achieve that plan and that scenario. Can't wait for y'all to get in here, check out the tool, and start imagining potential futures for yourself. Dream big.